Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Citizen Sleeper. Last time we left off, we were in the middle of a day actually, just because it, it, it worked out that way. Um, so I've used two of my dice. I remember we had um, various things happen, the hunter event happened. Uh, I also need to build a ship mine, disable my tracker. Win aside uh, real tickets. Yeah, we, we got a we got a lot going. We got a lot going on here. Um, let's see. So if we go to Dragos's yard, I did something with this last time, right? Yes. Okay. So we're good there. The empty container doesn't really have a lot going on. There's nothing for us to do at Fing's Bay. The dock isn't coming soon. Okay, you. Have I done this today? I think I have. Um, let, let's look around at other stuff first. So, I can afford to buy more scrap. I also have a plus one here for unload containers, which would help me get more scrap. Right? Does this give me... It, it probably gives me scrap, doesn't it? Let's see, 50% positive, 50% neutral. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Maybe I can get scrap without having to buy it. <clears throat> Yeah, and then we came over here. This is where I sell the components that I need. I'm definitely not going to have enough time to do all of these things, so I should start focusing on certain ones. I also need to save my money up so I can buy another stabilizer at some point. Um, don't need to do anything with that. Alright. And was there a node that requires one? I wish you could see what they required without having to, ha having to uh, actually click on them. There, there must be one of these somewhere that requires a one, right? Two. That's a two. A four? Ah, oh, shit. I, oh, wait, no, I do have a four. Wait, shit. I thought I used my four, but no, I didn't actually. I held off. Holds corporate records, most of them corrupted by a failed system purge. Um, maybe we grab that? Let's see what else we have first. Two. Is there seriously not another one? I want to get rid of this one. Here we go. This node pulses faintly as it mines cryo at a glacial pace, abandoned by the hacker that repurposed it. Okay. Let's bypass it. What do we get? One encrypted key. Okay, that might be useful. Cool. Uh, okay, and I need another one for over here. Ooh. Okay, so it tells me how how much I can do before the hunter will be after me again. Okay, so yeah, that's spooky. Um You require a cipher. Was there anything else that required an encrypted key? I don't think so. I think most of the rest of these were um the other thingy. Um but the was the encrypted key used here? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay. So we can get in here now and find out who is waiting for me in the dock, or in the rotunda, the person that's apparently manipulating me. Let's find out what the deal with that is. Alright. Well, now we can access it. Neovend 33, a mysterious machine. Apparently you're the one controlling me. As you slip inside the sealed dock, a pulsing light grabs your attention. Among the discarded tubing and rusted plates, a machine flickers with a warm glow. Decaying vending machine? How is a vending machine manipulating me? Look around. You don't know when this place was sealed, but from the state of the outer doors high above it, it must have been decades ago. In this dark cavernous space, debris sits in every corner. Along with the traces of rough sleepers, although none of it seems recent. Looking past the layer of decay, you see the now faded messages, symbols and logos of the eyes original corporate owners still glinting in the shadows. Okay, to reset the corner. Rough sleepers. So does that just mean dead sleepers? Although none of it seems recent. Yeah. Okay, so this must this must have something to do with the old corp that used to run here, and that would explain the existence of the sleepers. Were they... <clears throat> Why are there so many of them here specifically? Is this where they all hid out? And it doesn't seem like it worked out for them? Is, is this... Like something really bad happened? And uh... They all had to hide out here or something? Yeah, and there's debris everywhere too. Hmm. 
Among all this, the warm glow of the machine seems to be the only sign of life. As you get closer, you recognize the machine's blocky shape. Settled into an alcove in the side of the dock, kind of upright cabinet. It is covered in faded logos and messages from which you can assume it was once an industrial vendor. Yeah. Intended to dispense and manufacture ship fittings and other mechanical parts necessary for the regular running of freight and resource extraction vessels. Manufacturer is listed as Neovend. And you remember an advert from long ago. Squeezed among the off-world recruitment drives that assaulted every planet-born citizen. Which chirpily sang that name over and over, you wipe a layer of dust from the cracked screen thinking of those contractors squeezed by their own corporate employers to pay for every bit of minor maintenance on their rented ships. Oh god. Yeah, no, oh, it's it sounds so awful. I can hear the chirpily the name chirpily being sang over Knee event, knee event. <laughs> god. Uh Layer of dust in a crack screen, thinking of those contractors. Yeah, so they got contracted by the corporate employers, and they're like, oh, we'll give you a ship so you can do your job, but uh, that's how they get you, because then you have to pay for maintenance and everything, and probably like a docking fee for their ships and all kinds of stuff. They basically use that excuse to squeeze you dry. Enter your registration, chirps a pre-recorded message, catching you off guard. Press some keys? You reach for the keypad and something begins whirring. At first it sounds like servo motors starting up, but it quickly becomes a whisper. A whining, then a multi-tonal voice that emanates from Neovend. Entity. They hiss. Speak with me. Who's there? There's a squeal, almost like some strange mechanical swallowing or intake of breath before the machine speaks again. I have need of you. You have need of me. That squeal comes again and you can see that... It is the 3D printing apparatus in the upper part of the machine resetting into place, so that each time the servos can be orchestrated to produce that whirring, whining voice. Oh god, it's talking with its 3D printer. Ugh. You are in danger. Are you the vending machine? <laughs> danger. Machine creaks. You are marked for the deletion entity. Hunter tracks you. The screech rattles through the empty dock. You remember the strange head, the figure, the threads closing in. Hunter. The Hunter Protocol. They taste your signature. Sudden wine sets your teeth on edge. You have seen them. This is the gift of an emulated mine. You close your eyes and the skeleton of the station starts to thrum. Emulated mines aren't are adaptable. Move where neurons cannot. The mechanism resets, but emulation makes you target. So yeah. So because we have an emulated mind, they've basically put something into my head that can track me both mentally and they have people tracking me physically, so there's really nowhere I can hide from it. And they can probably use it to keep track of my location and everything. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, the emulation makes me a target. Alright, adaptable? Yes, you can move through networks, clouds, hardware, software, the event vines, but you cannot hide there. Hunter is there. Servers judder the vending machine's casing as they reset. Hunter searches for me also. Hide in this machine. You look at the ruined vending machine, an unusual hiding place for sure. Somehow does the vending machine block it? So you're possibly another sleeper that's hiding out here? Seems like a pretty shit existence, I'm not gonna lie. Just hiding out here in an abandoned, closed off room for however many thousands of years. Well, maybe not thousands, but however many hundreds of years. I think it did say a thousand. Maybe that's why that was in my head. Can counter, Hunter, but need entity inside, outside machine. The light flickers need you. A screen attached to the vending machine with a swiveling arm comes to life. It displays a flickering map of the station, ghostly, threaded. A cloud. Points along the rim glow in deep red. Hunter is always gathering. Too much data. Must build nests. Explains the event. Masters are gone, but continues hunt. Bring this data. Raid its nests. Okay, yeah, so your old masters are gone, but it's still hunting. Okay. Masters? Station builders. Solheim. The machine rumbles impatiently. Long gone. Their protocols still haunt. 
Okay, so this is not the same people that are chasing me from my corp. This is Solheim. Okay, okay, so this is just an old, like, kind of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> Security measure built in by them. But it's, it's, it's a program, basically, so it's going to hunt whether it's, you know, uh, masters are gone or not. Bring offerings, save self, Neovin says pointedly. Mutual need means friends, they conclude, tired of the conversation. The whirring amplifies and then suddenly drops as mechanisms within the machine click back into place. The glow fades and you are left stood in the dark of the sealed dock, that whirring voice ringing in your ears. Okay, new drive discovered. Um, free Neovend. Hiding from the Hunter Protocol, they need your help to counter it. Yes. Okay. So, does this take the same stuff that I've been giving to that other character? Okay, no, it needs Hunter data, so this is a different- this is a different thing. I was wondering if, you know, different- like, uh, characters are gonna start asking for the same things, and I would basically have to side with one. But no, this seems... like a different thing. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's not much for me to do over here. Um, I think I'm gonna do... you... with a four. Start? A neutral, 15 cryo, okay. Handling the plates and shattered structures takes work, but keep your head down long before the shift is done. Cool. Okay, so I just got a little bit of cryo out of that. But I can use that little bit of cryo to buy some scrap. I imagine if I get a positive, then... I can, uh, get maybe some scrap for free. Like, steal some or some shit. <laughs> but, uh, let's go over here and work on the Ambergris some more. Alright. Boom. And Kita needs all the help she can get with the Ambergris. Pockmarked with damage. The hole is a good place to start. I'm wasting a lot on this, friend. Hopefully I get some good shit out of this. Alright, let's leave. Um... I could buy some more of this. Yeah, let's get, let's get some scrap. Let's get some scrap. Cuz I needed uh I needed some more of this for uh Where was it? Up here. Yeah, the exchange because I need to be able to God, yeah, you don't get a lot for this though. Oh, wait, I got a ship mine fragment. You reassembled with the right tools. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay, so I got random scrap. Which, it gave me a ship mind component. Not the other thing. So, the ship mind component was... Build a ship mind. So, you've heard talk of a fabricator and by the ort exchange. With that and a few fragments, you could build a ship mind core. So I have to get access to the ort fabricator and then I can try to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, uh, time to really pursue that. Yeah, we might not be able to build a ship mind. I mean, I'm already working with you. Maybe I can leave with you on the Ambergris if I help you repair your ship. Maybe that's my way out so I don't have to worry about, like, getting a ticket or building a ship mind or anything like that. Let's hope that's the case. I'm trying not to spread myself too thin here, but I also am not totally sure what exactly I'm supposed to be working on uh, sometimes. Like, what is needed. It's because I'm imagining a lot of these drives do the same thing. Like, you know, freeing Neovind and extracting the past may do the same thing. I'm just siding with different factions. Fixing uh, the Ambergris and building a ship mine slash winning a side reel ticket may be different things. I, I don't know. Alright, uh, let's just get back home, I guess. Let's uh, go ahead and end the cycle, I suppose. We only have a few days left. So, yeah, there's nothing more for me to do this day. Like I said, I do need to save up some cash, because, uh... I'm gonna need some more stabilizers soon. Okay, we got two sixes. Ooh, those are good rolls. <clears throat> those are some yummy rolls. Okay, unit assembly. So... I've made, like, no progress on this. I don't think I'm gonna bother anymore with that. Um, okay, if, yeah, if I had Yadigan stuff... Okay, here we go. Fragment supply. 
Sophisticated tech is rare on the eye, so the shipyard is happy to pay for ship mine fragments they can dismantle and reuse. So I could give the ship mine fragment here and I just get money for it. We'll keep it for now. For now. Um, yeah, you still need data. Uh, alright, well first off, let's go help out Dragos. Because why not? Let's use... Let's use a four. Can I please get a positive for once? Ugh. I mean, it works, and I got 10 cryo. God, a 50% chance for positive. I'm just getting such bad rolls on that. Okay, the Ambergris. Um, this this will be it, so I think I am going to use one of my sixes here. Because now this is done. Cool. Ship shape. Good. And Kita. Kita's crouched in the computing core of the Ambergris, swearing to herself when you enter. She doesn't look up. These shits completely ruin the core's connectors when they cut it. She holds up a thick fistful of ragged wires. The ship mine they ripped won't even be usable without replacing these. She throws the bundles of wires across the room. Amateurs. Can we repair it? Nothing to repair. We need entire ship mined. Not exactly the first thing you can expect to dredge up from a scrap freighter. She sighs. Fragments, maybe. Sections of a mine, but a complete ship mine? No way. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to repair ship mine anyway. I'm glad I didn't give that part up. Kita climbs out of the cooling well where the ship mine should be, the space suddenly crowded with her on the same level as you, towering over you as she stoops beneath the low-curved ceiling. Come on, nothing to be done here now. She leads you back through the guts of the- of Amber, though you could find the way back yourself. The repair process has left you familiar with the cutter's idiosyncratic layout, all diagonal angles and bundled tubes. What do we do now? Kita seems lost in thought, and you focus on the corridors, ducking below conduits and passing through bulkheads. Eventually you arrive in the galley, though it's hard to tell. Most of the benches and prep surfaces are covered in half-stripped components and welded hole patches. And Kita shoves a box of filters to the floor and sits. There's no way around it. She starts out of nowhere. We need a new ship mined. I can salvage one. I like your confidence, sleeper. Maybe if we check the ord exchange or speak to some scrap dealers. She rubs her forehead. Seems like I'm about to do something very stupid, but hey, I came here, didn't I? Why not make a run of it? She fixes you with a hard stare. Sleeper, you're all I've got. No crew, no friends, you're it. It's very uncomfortable. I appreciate the time you put in on Amber, and I'm sure she would too. She could. What I'm saying is if you screw me on this, I will kill you. What? <sighs> what? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> She leans over and hands you a stack of shits. A big stack of shits. You don't dare to count them. Get me that ship mine, sleeper. Don't make me regret this. Okay, so you're saying don't screw me because you're giving me, like, all your money. I was about to be like, you're threatening me? I helped. <clears throat> but... Should we say you won't or but? But... She sighs, look. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Slip out of the galley and head back toward the main lock. As you do, Amber growls and creaks like a caged animal. You reach a hand out to calm her. Time to find Enkita's ship mind. Somehow. Okay. Well, there's our next, uh... There's our next objective. We need to... Build a ship mind. That would be our next main thing I need to do. I suppose. We have a hundred and thirty cryo. Uh, we're doing quite well in the cryo department. This also, unfortunately, means that I do need to buy more of this stuff. Or just get good at this. Whichever one. Uh... Yeah, damn it all. So... Trusted Trader. So I can play the market... Which, if I use a 6, I'll have a 50% chance for a negative. So I can play the market to become a trusted trader, which would get me back to the machine that I need to go to. Or I can sell components, but I need scrap components to do that, and I can't buy that many scrap components. Oh, this isn't ideal. This isn't ideal. What's going on here? Bar shift. Tala's as good as her word, and happy to throw a shift or two your way. The pay isn't great, but tips can make all the difference. Your overlook clientele can be a tough crowd, but you have Tala's backing, and that means a lot. It uses Engage. 
maybe that's the next thing I start working on with my sixes. Because doing, doing, working the exchange just doesn't, it just doesn't feel super worth my time. But neither does this, to be fair. Mm. And I already did Dragos' stuff today, right? Yes. Okay, so we, we'll finish that off tomorrow. And we will be good. Um, hopefully Dragos will give me something nice. Uh, let's see, can we do anything with the eye? Hunter nest. Yeah, okay, so I need a two. You recognize some of the data tangled in this nest. This is partial log of your recent movements. Okay. The hunter is far from noticing us again. That's a two. If I could get some money to sell... If I could get some more money, that would be nice. So if I can get any shit from this... Uh... Come on, there was one that... Ah, that's my four, though. That's my four. I'm more comfortable parting with the three than I am the four at the moment. Plus one encrypted key. Able to unlock the station's aging madlocks. So yeah, that just got me one of those. Okay, that requires a two. That requires a one. Okay, I've been rolling those pretty consistently. Also requires a one and requires a two. Okay, so we'll have to check back here <clears throat> again tomorrow. So what do I want to do with the rest of my day? Um, emphasis stall, third exchange. I'll be able to buy, I have enough money to buy another one of those when need be. I could order some fungus, although I feel like I should wait. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be over here soon. Shield dock. Okay, I think I should just do this. Let's do... So I could do a 6 for a guaranteed. But I think I'm going to use the 6 over here. Let's, let's, let me just make sure. What else do we have? We still need to disable my, strac my, extra uh, my tracker. Yeah. Um, so I have to help things chase leads. Hmm. And... Free, it's hiding from the hunter pro protocol. Yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe freeing you would also help me get rid of my tracker, possibly. Uh, I didn't mean to click that. Story and food, gotta eat, help pay off Dragos' debt, buy a vial of stabilizer, work your way. Okay, I'm not doing that. Let's go back to build a ship mine. Okay, um, I think I want to go over here and play the exchange with my six. Please? I have terrible into it, but, uh... Come on! Big money, big money! Neutral. Okay, well, I got some stuff. 12 cryo and a trusted trader. Alright, good, good, good. We got some money. We are good. So, with this one, I think I'm gonna go over here and unload containers. This is dangerous, but it's 50-50, so... It won't be too awful for me. Just 15. Just 15 cryo. Okay, well, I with, with my money, I gotta try and buy some more scrap. I need some more. Uh, random scrap, yeah. And my scrap allowance, I'm now locked out of this. So I can't, I can't get any more. But I did get some more scrap components, so that'll be more over here at the Ord Exchange. There you go. A little bit more money for me out of the deal there. Cool. And I got a trusted trader. So now we need three more plays on the exchange that aren't negative. And we'll be able to access the thing so that I can make a ship mined. But I also need more ship mined pieces, fragments, before I can do that. Oh boy, this is getting, uh... This is getting interesting, it is. Um... I think I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I think I'm gonna eat tomorrow, so let's go to bed now. I'm trying to budget my stuff a bit more than I was before now. Like, I'm trying to pick s specific things and I'm trying to focus on those to see if that makes me fare a little bit better, because by this clock, I only have four days left. The game will <clears throat> probably be ending soon, to be completely honest. So that's something to keep in mind. Alright. 
I don't have as many dice this time. I rolled one six. I got two fives. Uh, all right. All right. First things first. Let's go get some food. Let's go get some food. With uh, Infus. So... Yeah. Food, please. I need my energy back. Mouth stings. This sensorium sends warning signs over and over. That's the good stuff. Okay, so yeah, we got another one with you. Okay, they're gone now. And they're not going to be back for four more days, which is unfortunately too long for me. That's going to be too long for me. Unless I, like, disable my tracker by then or something. You are coming. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have a lot of money for when they come in. Uh, if I use one of my fives here, I can get a guarantee. Or I could use the three. 25% negative chance, but it's a safe. Let's, let's go for this. I think I just need one more, so... Please no negative. Of course. Of course. Alright, well... I was <clears throat> trying to save my dice a little bit. There you go. You're back in business, Dragos. Alright. Hello. You arrive into a buzz of activity at the yard. Red blinking lights flash across the vast, dark shape. Suspended below the dome, they flicker across scorched hole plates and bent structures, spilling from holes in the twisted shape. The cutter is huge and has been torn apart in some violent encounter. She's a beauty, isn't she? Drago stands to the side, focused on the hulking ship as it's lowered into the yard. What is it? Drago laughs. That, my friend, is a grade A scrap. Ooh, I need that. I should thank you. This place was on its last legs when you turned up, and now look at this. The ship descends slowly, its interior visible through multiple hole breaches. You struggle to gather the same enthusiasm as Drago's for this monstrous craft. You can't help but think of what became of its crew. What happened? <coughs> what do you mean? Glances at you. Managed to convince our salvager friend to give it to me on credit. That's what happened. No, what happened to the ship? Not my concern, he shrugs. The ship creaks like a... Uh, calving? I thought I was gonna- I thought I was gonna read that as caving, but now it's like calving iceberg, which I guess means it's like splitting or breaking. As it reaches the base of the yard, Dragos is visibly excited. I know I said you shouldn't stick around, but I'm gonna need some help with this one. The drones start to crawl over the hole, their lights illuminating flashes of dented hole. Watching, you wonder if you arrived in a similar fashion, locked inside that container. The wreck of the SNR freighter lowered into the yard like a corpse ready to be butchered. Or was the container delivered to Dragos on its own? A womb for your rebirth into this strange station. You shudder. Perhaps if you could learn something about this ship, you might be able to trace the path that led you to this yard. Might also get scrap. Which I need. Drago squeezes, uh, squeezes your shoulder. After these past cycles, I think we're up to it. What do you think? See the fading name of the ship emblazoned on the side, winter light. Let's do it. Claps you on the back. Glad to hear it. Come back in a few and we can make a start. Real beauty, Dragos repeats. Perhaps just to himself. You take one last look at the shattered ship as the drones start cutting and then slip out of the yard, suddenly feeling very cold in the empty passage. Okay, oh, drive complete, one upgrade point. Oh shit! Oh shit! You've completed your first drive! Each drive completed unlocks an upgrade point to spend on upgrading your character! Access your character menu via the arrow button at the top right of the screen! Oh my god! Okay! Cool, we finally got a point. I'm n now the problem is finding out what I want to do with it. Chance to game random scrap item on engineer action sounds amazing. Uh dice actions. So I would have to get this away from negative one. I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Instant Karma sounds fantastic, but I don't think that's going to happen. Chance to gain energy after any engage action. I quite frankly haven't seen very many engage actions. All cryo actions are discounted. That's... good. Chance to gain cryo on interface actions. I have been doing a lot of that. Uh, agent nodes give double data rewards. Uh, 
this seems really good, and so does this. But so does engineer. Okay, so we need we need to think about this hard. So engineer actions. How many more of those? I haven't even seen that many. The the main one I can think of is this over here. <clears throat> which I really haven't been doing that much of. I could, but I don't know, it feels like it's kind of the same kind of thing I'm doing with my other path with the Ambergris. Yeah. Dragos's yard, maybe this uses engineer? Okay, it does. Ship is breaking ship breaking is tougher than slicing up loose salvage, but Dragos is happy to pay you a fixed wage if you're up to it. And Dragos' nerve. Dragos seems increasingly nervous about your presence in the yard. You're not sure he's going to hold his nerve much longer. The wrecked cutter Dragos has brought to salvage has a history to uncover if you are curious. <coughs> history or no, the ship is salvaged, as Dragos always says. Break it down, move it on. Okay, so Dragos is only going to let me stay here for a limited amount of time. But that's probably a pretty good way to get salvage. It says you're going to pay me a fixed pay, but maybe I can find salvage if I get a positive outcome from it. Okay, bar shift is engage. I, I feel like it's I feel like it's too late to bother with that. Yeah, we need more hunter data. And then this is into it. Yeah. Mm. I think I want to go for engineer. Next fungus. I'm not seeing a lot of engage prompts that I feel the need. I, I <clears throat> when, it, when it was just that one thing down there, um, I wasn't super interested in engineer, but now that I see that the thing that I need to do that Dragos' uh, place also uses um, that, I'm kind of interested. I'm not super interested in paying that toll yet, mostly because I don't see much of a reason to go over there. I want to have the chance to gain a random scrap item on engineer actions, I think. Yes. So, I am an, en I am an enduring engineer. It'll even allow me to use scrap components to repair some of my condition, which could come in handy, because it means I wouldn't have to pay the obscene price for a stabilizer. Okay, when did the game last save? Seven seconds ago. Alright, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. We made a pretty good amount of progress. I got a lot of things to think about and resources to manage, but... I think I have a clearer idea of what I'm working towards now. Which is good, so... I hope you enjoyed this episode of Citizen Sleeper. And I'll see you next time for some more.